I keep looking at myself over there. I'm supposed to be looking there. I'm not sure this is a good idea. So I've got my lights on here. Is this too much light? Feels like it's too much light. My face looks a little bit shiny. Mm. I don't wear foundation, but I did put some powder on to cut that. Ugh. These lights are really giving me a Crypt Keeper vibe. Okay, before we get started on the video, I just wanted to show the shelf again. I know that I showed it in um, the live we did, but I wanted to show it again because not everyone watches the live, and I'm very proud of it. My brother-in-law and my sister made it for me, so thank you, Nancy and Moon. It's great. I love it. I have all of my um, wood block stamps. I'm trying to move and not jiggle. So, my, well, not all of them. I have most of my wood block stamps on it. And it's great. I love it. And I need to take those stickers off those stamps. Anyway, I just wanted to show it one more time. And here's the Hey, y'all, it's Kristen. So that what you saw was just about all I could handle of being in front of the camera. I'm sorry. Um, I couldn't get the lighting to do good or anything. I just film with my phone usually. But filming that way, I need something else. And I have... Um, I told my husband, I was like, I'm going to have to get a new camera. I have this camera, and it's very nice. It's probably like eight years old, but it doesn't do video. So I'm going to be getting a new one that will do video and do better than what you saw just a second ago because that was ridiculous. Okay, so I have some things from Laura. Hi, Laura. She is Laughing Dog Book Nook here on YouTube and on Etsy. I think I said that name right. I'll link her down in the description box, both her YouTube channel and her Etsy store. She was selling uh, chenille, and I got some of it. I know that she's going to be selling more. I don't know, as of this video, like right this second, because I forgot to look, I do not know if she um, has any in her shop, but you need to go check it out. I know that she will be having more if she doesn't, because she did a video showing what she was uh, cutting up and stuff. And it was gorgeous. Okay, so I got this. I got some tiny pieces. Some of this, I think, I already did this part once. And I realized that my camera was not in landscape. <laughs> so I had to start over. I think this she sent me extra, which will be great for my baby books. Actually, a lot of this will be great for the baby books. So she sent some little pieces. I really, really like this stuff. I went on eBay and found me some uh, bigger pieces um, of the rosebud, like this this kind, the rosebud kind. It's kind of hard to find. It's also pretty expensive. Laura has some great prices, though, in her shop. Then I have the bigger pieces, which I think these are around 4 by 4 or, yeah, a little bit more so there's a white yellow kind of a mint and white another mint olive red that's pretty and that's really soft that's like robe material this will be good in the boy journal I'm working on Renee I'm working on I've got four journals over there that I've started and they're in different stages I think these are like around six by six or a little bit more let me see yeah a little bit more six and a half something like that um I have four baby journals I'm going to be doing some process videos some craft with me's during the different stages of making them the only thing I will not be showing are the cover, how to make the covers, because first of all, there are tons of videos out there showing how to do covers, and I also have one on my channel, which when I do, when I start showing those process videos, I'll link it down in the description box, but um, I'll be showing everything else. Okay, let me move these out of the way so I can show this little... It was tied up with this really pretty eyelet trim, too. Sorry, Laura. I jacked up your presentation. And this little pouch, this is just adorable. Let me 
done with that. She just took a big a piece of fabric, folded it up like this, sewed it on the edge there, and made a little pouch. I love this fabric, by the way. And then inside are some trims and buttons. I love buttons on the cards. You know this, Laura. I know you do. So let me show you the buttons. I'm kind of unorganized here. I like this one, this long one. And this one too. And these. We also have some embroidery floss on this really pretty tag that she just folded over. I like this paper too, Laura. It's pretty. I also like this paper. And then this is some trim pink, uh, glittery blue, some more of that eyelet yellow, a pale blue color, and then some of that cream on this. That was a really cute idea. And then we also have a handkerchief. I have some of these. They're really pretty. Oops. Okay. So, Laura, thank you very much. Like I said, I will link her YouTube channel and her Etsy store down in the description box. So, you can go check it out. All right, let me move this out of the way and I'll be right back. Okay, now I have some things from um, eBay. First off, let me show you this wallpaper. Now, the pictures, you see how it's a little bit faded, like almost a second generation stamp kind of thing. The pictures on eBay were not exactly like that. It looked a little better, but I still think it's pretty cool. And I think that I can cut it, you know, to make pockets and journals and stuff. I don't think that these, uh, the scale is too big is what I'm trying to say. Also, I do believe that you can distress this to make it, because it's pretty white, but I think you can probably distress it. So anyway, there's that. And then I got a whole bunch of these for my baby books. They just come, I think there's 10 books of these, but I didn't have any pink ones, believe it or not. I had all other kinds, but not that. So I got those. Then I got this fabric, which I love so very much. It's Jack and Jill. Three little kittens, rock by baby. Can you see that? I'm gonna hold it up. Isn't it adorable? And it's a huge piece. I don't know how big this is, but it's gonna last me a long time. So there's that. I got some more ticking fabric. Um, if you remember, I got, this is just a small piece of it, but I got this. This is pillow ticking. This is a lot softer than this. This is like a mattress ticking or whatever. Let me, this is like the other side. So you see, you know, I know you know what I'm talking about, but I love this and I've been wanting some for a while and I found some on eBay for a good deal. I will link what I can down in the description box for you guys to go check out if you want to for the eBay stuff and the Amazon stuff. I also got this fabric for the boy book that I'm working on or books. Isn't that cute? a big piece of that. This is like a flannel. It's really soft. I love it. And then on Amazon I needed some more book corners. I've got some that are like a silver and they're they're big like this. Can you see these out of this without me having to take this out? These are big. Now this is this will be like for a bigger book but I thought these were pretty. And then I got these for the smaller books like the golden books or whatever. There's a whole bunch of them in here. I don't know how many. I think there's like a hundred. I don't know. But I'll link these down in the description box so y'all can see those. I thought they were really nice. And like I said, the price was not bad at all. I feel like I'm not showing something. Oh, I do want to show this. Now, Allison, this is not the book that I was telling you about. I'll do a dedicated video for that book. That really cool one I was telling you about. But this one I got, I saw Selena show this in one of her videos. And, of course, I went and found myself one. I do not believe that there is a date in here. It's the New Color Picture Dictionary for Children. 
No, it just says copyright consolidated books. It doesn't say anything. Can you see it if I just keep it right here? I'm just going to do a little flip through. Not very long. It's just, it's really cute. It's got um, the pictures, the illustrations, and all the words. And I don't know, does it go up to, yeah, it goes all the way up. I didn't know if it was like part of a series of books and it only went up to say, you know, M or something. But I think that this is really cute and the pages are really thick, like almost construction paper thick. Not quite, but they're really nice. So there's that. Again, if I can find it, I will link it down in the description box. Okay, Hobby Lobby stuff. First of all, I got some paper. They had their paper last week, I believe is when I went on sale for four four dollar so I got some Easter isn't that cute and then some baby boy little feet I think I got did I get more than one? I think I don't know. We'll see. And this one says Baby Boy. And that's just a blue with a chevron pattern. A little duck in the bathtub. Rubber duck. Oh yeah, here's some more feet. I was gonna say, I know I just didn't I didn't get just one piece. Because this is really cute. So let's see. And then I got the girl. And there's that one. And this is the thinner paper. So if, if I want to copy that, I can. Um, and then this one. That's cute. But I kind of think I won't. Instead, I will just, since it's white on the other side, plus it's got that, I'll probably just uh, do what I usually do and put wrapping, so wrapping paper on the other side or something. Okay, let me move this out of the way. Some other stuff I got at Hobby Lobby is this. I thought this was really cute. They had this, uh, the Spring Shop stuff on sale for, I think it was 40% off. So I got some oven mitts and this dish towel and I also got this because I needed another one. And it's really nice too. It's a really thick silicone spatula. So there's that. I also got another one of these. I have I have one of these, but I was running out. And this is um, also the thinner paper that I like to copy dye. And I'm sure you've seen these a gazillion times. I'll just hold them up really fast so you can see the papers. I really love that one right there. But I use this a lot. So, and I was like, running low so I needed another one I think there are 80 sheets there are 20 designs for each okay and so then I did some of the um, clearance shopping you know because that's just what I do even though I if I don't need it I still get it did that come out right even if I don't need it I still get it that's what I meant so I got some of this. Um, I'm going to start a fitness thing, and these are fitness stickers for your planner. I have a gazillion planners, and I got a whole bunch of planner stuff. I also have some planner subscriptions that I want to show you eventually whenever I have the time to do a video that are really neat. They're from Australia. I will show them to you later. But I'm going to begin. I keep saying this, but I want to get my planner started, and these, like I said, are the fitness stickers. They come, I think there's... It says five sticker rolls in there, so you can see by the picture what they kind of look like. So, anyway, hopefully I'll use them. And then, this is these are workout stamps. Let me get up here so I can make sure there's no glare. And then these are, these are all planner stickers. I don't know if I said that. I mean, not sticker, stamps. So this like tracks your mood up here, which I thought was cute. I hope I don't already have this. Now that I'm looking at it, I'm kind of thinking I might from the last haul. Not the last one, but last year, whenever they did the, I don't know. That's when you know you have too much stuff. 
This one is a cooking related. I would also like to track like meal plan and stuff like that. I do that anyway, but just not in a planner. So anyway, um, I got some things for candy. Let's see here. This I think is the one that she wanted. I'm not sure. Candy, I think you said you did not want this one, but I went ahead and got it anyway because it was a good price. This one was regularly $14.99, which is really surprising since there's like four pieces. It's really little, but it was on sale for $3.74. This one was uh, regularly $19.99. I got it for $3.49. I thought that was kind of cute. I like that deer and that Santa Claus. Well, I like all of them. They're cute. I got this. I know that I already have one of these, but I really like this color scheme, and these stickers are just, I'm not going to go through them. They're just planner stickers. I just really like them. Also, I love the sticky notes, and they had them, oh, I forgot to say the price. They're regularly $5.99. I got them for $1.49. These were regularly $3.99. Got them for $0.99, cents, and I cannot pass up the sticky note things. I love them. Oh, here's some more. This is me and my big ideas. Regularly $7.99 on sale for $1.99. I don't know what's... Oh, here we go. I was going to be like, why did I get this? This is like bill pay, chore list, honey-do list. I'll hold it up. Did I say stickers again? I don't know why I keep calling stamp stickers. Um, these were regularly $7.99 on sale for $1.99. Um, these are the sticky notes again. I like the coffee cup. Oh, this is also for candy. It was regularly $14.99 on sale for $3.74. And of course, like I always do, I got a couple more of these. These, were, I think, were on sale for 40% off. I love these, and they're very hard to find. So, And I say that, and every time I go to Hobby Lobby, they're there. But there's been a lot of times I've gone, and they're not there. So I just pick them up. Now I probably have about 80 of these, but that's okay because they're really cute. Got some more sticky notes, as you can see. So, again, all of these were 99 cents, which, I mean, even if I don't need these, I was like, how can you pass up 99 cents? They're regularly $3.99. And then this one. Okay. Is that all of Hobby Lobby? Yep, I believe it is. Oh, I forgot a couple of things. I, it was sitting right here in front of me, too. Laura, again, showed this on one of her... She did a shop with me to Hobby Lobby. And it's, it's fringe. Let me open it up so you can see. Just a moment. I'm going to cut some of this fringe. Okay, there we go. It's a fringy trim, which I thought was really, really cute. Can you see that? It's really pretty. Thank you, Laura, for giving, for letting me see that. I didn't know that was there. Then I got this. I think I also have this in um, pink and blue, but it's really pretty. I think there are, what are, two yards on here. How many yards are on this? $2.99. I mean, not $2.99. <laughs> I was looking at the price. Two yards. Um, this was not on sale. But that's okay. And then I got this lace with the flowers. There are two yards on here. And then I got this. I use this quite a bit. And there are two yards on there. Okay. So I think that's all this time. Hopefully. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And thank you so much for watching.